Welcome, 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 welcome back with another video. Alright, I know I promised to yesterday, but unfortunately, my... Well, I guess it's today, I guess, because the video didn't get uploaded until this morning, but I took it yesterday. So, well, I guess it's today, so this is video two for the day. YouTube's got me all, uploading's got me all confused. It's been crazy lately. Monday Night Raw last night was nuts. Start off the show, we have a new Intercontinental Champion and Luke Harper, which I think was the wrong decision. But then again, maybe they'll turn around and after Team Cena wins, go Team Cena, uh, Sunday night, Dolph Ziggler will get a, his rematch, a fair rematch, I might add, because there was a bunch of bullshit on that match last night. And I say bullshit. I mean, come on. What's his face? Uh, Seth Rollins and the two goons, the cruiserweights, as, <laughs> as Dean Ambrose called them, which they both were cruiserweights when they were wrestling, I might add. Uh, uh, interfered before the matchup and beat the, you know, so basically it was easy work for Luke Harper. But I think they should have had Dolph Ziggler win it. I mean, that would have been would have signified him so much as a character, but the whole point of last night was supposedly Team Cena got destroyed. So by the end, and they had Sheamus versus Big Show, supposedly for a world title shot, but yet nobody ended up winning it, which, hmm, I'm going to agree with Michael Cole. Stephanie had that plan the entire time for Rusev and Mark Henry to come out and interfere in that matchup. And then, surprisingly, Sheamus was pulled from the uh, match. I've heard rumors it's because of his visa issues like they had with uh, Bad News Barrett last year. Or oh, was it the year before? It was last year. He's been gone so much since the injury and stuff, I can't remember when it was. It was a few years ago. But yeah, same issue with him because he's a Irish citizen. But I think also, so they did an injury angle. I'm not sure if it's injury or what because if it was visa issues, he wouldn't have been able to bid on Raw in the first place. Who knows? Who knows what WWE's up to? I mean, the only one I know of that has to be gone for other than an injury is Randy Orton. Which I was kind of hoping he would have showed up last night. Nice big pop. But. I think that. I think the story with that is. A lot of people are wondering why. Randy Orton wasn't announced last night for Team Cena. What will probably happen is. If they find out today before they film Smackdown. Yes Smackdown is filmed on Tuesday. So you all know. I don't know why they don't just move it to Tuesdays and do it live. So all these spoilers are on the internet for people like me. Don't ruin shit, but oh well. Okay. But yeah, so basically what the thing is, is if they find out before SmackDown's filmed, they can write into a script, say, that Randy's available for Sunday. Because he's away filming a movie. They don't need him doing a match and getting hurt. Yes, it is a WWE film. But... The director still does not need Randy getting in the ring and getting hurt and stretching out production. And then he'd also be out in ring action. So actually, I think it's the smartest that whenever a guy's filming, they don't have him competing. Because then, that way it doesn't... First of all, all the jet lag and stuff is going to be crazy because of all the travel. You know, because I have no... Well, Randy wouldn't be so bad because he only does Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Smackdowns, and... uh pay-per-views so really he's not as busy as a lot of other stars are but yeah but still they don't need him getting into the ring and getting hurt and then stretching out production so it's smarter that they keep him until at least all his scenes are shot you know once all his scenes are shot you come by if they get the work tonight they'll have probably Dolph Ziggler from Team Cena I'll break down the whole entire Team Cena and what I think of Team Cena. I don't really care about Team Authority. But, 
in a minute, but probably Dolph Ziggler is probably the one that get hurt, have be hurt and disappear. Probably because, well, it's Dolph Ziggler. Okay, so at the end of the night, they reveal who's on Team Cena. Well, we kind of figured it was going to be in the, the night. There was one shocker. But I'll get into that when I get to him. First one to come out, naturally, Dolph Ziggler. And he's doing this. Naturally, they're playing up like he hurt his head or hurt his neck. And we all know it's well documented that he's had concussion issues. So it makes total sense. That, I mean, come on, he got hit in the briefcase. And I do approve of him being on Team Sia because of Seth Rollins. They need a smaller guy to battle Seth Rollins. And why not the show off? Hey, it actually worked. Okay. The they show off, Dolph Ziggler. Why not Dolph Ziggler? I mean, he's great. A lot of people say, oh, we should have extended the uh, uh, Seth Rollins feud. I completely agree. But when Randy does come back, which I think he's actually due back the Monday after um, Survivor Series, which same thing happened with the Ambrose. So... I wouldn't be, don't be surprised if Randy Orton ends up coming Sunday. Don't be surprised if he ends up there. By the way, I will be there live in St. Louis watching Survivor Series. Not sure what shirt I'm going to wear, but I'll be there live in St. Louis watching. The day before is my birthday, so I told my friends, we're going. No doubt, we're going. And we're going, and I'll, I got great seats. Of course, I pick, how I pick them out, so of course they're great seats. I made sure, level 1 seat, I don't do anything above level 1s or level, floor level. But, floors are expensive, I don't do floor level. That's a little too close for me. Unless it's a house show here in Springfield, where I'm from. But, okay, back on topic, because, um... Alright, so, next came out, Big Show. Of course, Big Show came out. I mean, because all he had was, he got locked in the accolade and took a little nap oh so he took a nap whoop de doo he was taking a nap that's nice so yeah he's back awake he came you know big show and down to the ring so next revealed was big show not a surprise there again not a surprise didn't really surprise me big show makes sense as much problems as he's had with the authority Makes total sense that he'd be on Team Cena. No questions asked. Next one to come out. Next person to come out. I won't. Fortunately, he wasn't Team Cena, but that didn't surprise me. But they made it look like Cesaro was going to be on Team Cena. Why would Cesaro be on Team Cena? That made no sense. That would have been a total shock. You know, that would have been another one that would have been a great shocker. Cesaro, the King of Swing. But no. It was just an authority joke, which really ticked Cena off. Cena was angry. But, I have to say, he had a wild card on the deck the entire time. I don't know how long he'd been working on this, but he pulled a wild card. Okay, so, before I tell you who, okay, so the authority has their Wyatt, which is Luke Harper. We got the guy that wears the sheet mask, Eric Rowan was revered to be a member of Team Cena. Oh my gosh, I was shocked. First of all, the music they used for him, I had no idea. I'm like, who in the world is that? I don't know, I figured, oh, it's some legend or something, you know? Someone whose music I don't hear very often. Then they revealed who it was, and I'm like, Eric Rowan? Really? I thought it was another joke by the authority, you know? Because they already had Luke Harper, and they were a tag team. A very good tag team, which... I think I'm glad they didn't put the tag titles on them, but I wish they had. But we'll go into that later. But yeah, why did they... So they revealed that it's Eric Rowan is a member of Team Cena. We're like, is he really a member of Team Cena? He is, what the... I mean, I was completely shocked. Completely, that was out of nowhere. I do not see them taking Eric Rowan out of that match because Eric Rowan could use it to solidify himself as the Battle Wyatt. You know, so they could definitely do something with that. And he's big, 
He's massive. And he's awesome. I mean, come on. He was a sheep master, right? I mean, come on. All right. Next person. Next person. Next person is, all I have to say about that is, feed me more. That's right. They reveal that Ryback is on Team Cena. Even though he's been saying he's nothing but Team Ryback. But I think they all like, like the way that WWE approached it. Everybody saw it coming that he was going to be on Team Cena. It's just. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to let you guys go. Yep. So, yeah. So, Team Authority versus Team Cena. I'm still going with Team Cena.